guys it's sunday 3rd of may and uh, probably week six or week seven of lockdown in uk losing count now but that doesn't matter because right now we're back in our project um just adhering to social distancing rule we're not uh, meeting with any builders here it's just me and marcus in the house and yeah just no one else we have also brought our you know wet wipes and wiped down the door handles and everything so Hopefully we, yeah, just to say, stay safe and yeah, just to walk you guys through what has been done here. So far, all the plaster has been done in the house. It's all dried now and all the door frames are up. So this is uh, the, the type of, you know, fire doors that we have to put into this type of houses and uh, soon there will be sort of like a spring system here so it's like a control uh, fire door controlled movement so it closes by itself and it's it's needed in this type of uh, houses because you know we need a license for it uh, there are six bedrooms uh, this is one of the ensuite we especially put in the, the shower recess because um, yeah, I think it's it's just a great user experience here. And this one is a really big ensuite compared to our other ensuites. Um, and for us, coming to our project to visit is to pick up on some snagging items, snagging issues, uh, some stuff that maybe the builders haven't picked up on yet and some things that they have to fix so for example right here you see some you know mold patches here um we are hoping that uh, all those damp patches is because um, the heating is not turned on in this house and it's quite cold and chilly in here i would say it's about i don't know 12 13 degrees in this house right now because you know it's spring it's um sometimes it's rainy and if you don't turn on the heater the house doesn't get warmed up so moisture kind of contain in here so i think next week we're gonna tell our builders to maybe turn on the heater yeah try to turn on the heater and, and dry um air air the house and, and dry dry all the moisture because we we don't want you know damp to be accumulating in the house it's quite a big issue here in in the uk the the houses are very damp uh yeah so right now this is our kitchen pretty standard so there was some issue with this worktop because uh, our kitchen designer made a mistake here uh, she she gave us a one and a half bowl sink and the half bowl is sitting here uh, on the dishwasher so this is the dishwasher and as you can see it's flat so there is no space for a half bowl here so we had to exchange the one and a half bowl sink to this one bowl sink and so this cutout here is no longer fits this and we have to um, replace the kitchen top and because these two kitchen tops are actually fixed together so if they were to remove this worktop it might chip off here so in fact we need two <laughs> kitchen worktops so um, yeah to be honest we have trusted the designer to know what she's doing when she was drawing up the plans, everything looked all right, um, but she didn't realize that the half bowl sink is actually um, going into the dishwasher space, which is bizarre because you would think like a designer should know this type of stuff, but you know, we're all humans and we make mistakes. So we needed two worktops and they offered to give us one for free. So we just had to pay for one worktop, which is 54 pounds, I think. Yeah, and we could get some of the, you know, like the accessories for free as well. So that's fine. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention <laughs> the black radiator. We specifically, instructor or builder to get this because um yeah it's 
It looks amazing, doesn't it? I mean, just imagine all the walls are, are now painted in white and we have a very cool, you know, matte black radiator. I love it. And yeah, so in the entrance here, these are the two laptops that are waiting here. They got delivered on Friday and should be installed uh -oh, next week. So right now, I'm just going upstairs. And ta -da, the communal bathroom is installed. I really like how these two um, uh, sinks turn out. So I I do I, I stick with um, you know wanting to give our tenants uh, one sink each. There was some issues with the with the distance, you know, we were saying that oh you know it might be too close to the door, it's not really possible to have two things here. But I pushed for the idea. Um, I was looking online for suitable things and I think this this is now looking pretty good and I can imagine just having you know mirror here and mirror here so you know each tenant would have their sink separately so it's like a it's almost like a family bathroom or um, you know like a couple bathroom so to speak but uh, yeah I've seen I've seen this before in in Germany in uh, Switzerland you know um, in Airbnbs so I thought you know it looks nice um, and I decided to you know implement it here and we have a big gorgeous rain shower here also with the shower recess and uh, yeah right now I'm just going over to the opposite side to see uh, show you all the bedrooms up here there are four bedrooms up here mm, pretty standard plaster is now all dried up and skirting boards are all in you see all the wood Skirting boards are all installed as well. All going to be painted next week. Yeah. So, it's all the same. Uh, ensuite here. Ta -da. Matte black radiator, my favorite. So there wasn't any space for any shower recess here, which which is fine. You know, everyone gets their own ensuite. Um, we try to put in a shower recess in almost everyone, but uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, right? So we just work around it. And another ensuite here, and that's the other shower. So yeah, that's about it. And uh, just going down to show you guys the the fire panel. So I'm kind of me on the stairs so that's all the electrics and fire panel in there and we had to pay a bit of extra for this because there's so much wiring to be done and we had, uh, this box situation it, it has to be uh, built like custom built and also all these wires here all these tubings and everything and these are a bit of extra material that um that didn't come up during the quote but you know something we have to account for right now because it is required and i mean we're still within budget so that's fine because we anyways always factor in a contingency so yeah that's the update for global street see you guys soon